Roots 20 top ranking. We are bringing you fight number six of the evening, three by three minute rounds in the 63.5 kilogram category. Introducing our first fighter out of the blue corner. Representing Wickham's Martial Arts Victoria, trained by Kill Ekasit with one fight and one win at the weight of 63.3 kilos, Daniel Matthews. In the red corner, fighting for Cowboy Muay Thai Victoria, trained by Corey Dean with two fights. One win and one draw. Out of the red corner, we have at 62.75 kilos, Ben Killian. Our referee for this fight, ladies and gentlemen, will be Trevor Lawler. Fighters may now seal the ring. Let's have a look at the numbers. 63.5 kilograms there is a very serious argument is the hottest weight class in Australia right now. I would 100% agree with that. Ben Killian and Daniel Matthews representing two of the up and coming prospects to join an incredible pool of talent. We've seen a lot of them uh, coming through the Victorian scene as well as the other states. Uh, of course, on routes earlier this year was a super lightweight eight man eliminator. Yes. This is definitely the proof that the um, a proper amateur scene works yep. to make good entry-level pros. The, when you see these boys fight, you'll be so impressed just at how good they are for the low number of fights they've had. Definitely. You can see as well, even just as they seal the ring, very relaxed, very happy to be here, not looking stiff, not looking sort of overly nervous. It's fine. Very vocal, very vocal ref. Round one. Southpaw versus Orthodox again. And some firepower in the corner here. Q Eckerstein in blue and Corey the Cowboy Dean in red. Yeah. Big body kick from Daniel. Q Eckerstein, 42 years of age and still fighting. Most recent win was knocking out my international, um, yeah. my Belgian import um, in the second round with, with knees. Yep. Elbow, elbow, I think elbow to a knee, I think it was that stopped him in the end. Incredibly powerful fighter. Doesn't look to have slowed down. That big hand from Daniel Matthews. Very impressive. And they're not they don't just have a trainer in kill, they have a training partner. Yeah. They train with him every day. They hold pads for him, he holds pads for them. They could spar and clinch him, I'm sure. Yes. Looks for the sweep, doesn't quite get it, Daniel. Has he mindful of his posture when chasing that sweep? Very precise hands. Blocks a couple of kick attempts and just fires back a sweetly timed left kick. Nice left hand. Beautiful south push style. Big left body kick there. That did some damage. Fighting for the body lock. Once again, he's clinching like his uh, gym buddy, Connor Goodman, too, pushing yep. hard on the ropes. Well, they are called Cowboy. So. Yes. And we know that was Corey the Cowboy style. Yeah, the relentless clinch fighter. Beautiful Muay Cow style. So for those at home, Muay Cow is a knee fighter, like clinch style fighter. Cow means knee in Thai. And of course, in that sense, Cowboy is a fun play on words. Yes, it is, yes. Big elbow over the top. This has become a clinch fight early, I feel. On, work, work, Potentially work. Ben thinking, I don't want to sit on the outside. With Daniel, I want to make things uncomfortable. And there's a really nice cheeky upward elbow. No space on that. It does look like Daniel's filled out a little bit more overnight. Yep. Both have similar frames, don't they? Yeah, very tall, lean, very good boy size shaped bodies. Yeah. Intercepting elbow and then rattles off a couple of punches. Does Daniel Matthews. Teak sends Ben Killian to the canvas. Beautiful timing. Really liking the boxing. Stringing it together Matthews. very nicely. Yeah. Not overloading either though, just efficient. Yes, he's not throwing himself off balance or anything. 
It's the same combination over and over and over again, but it's it's accurate. A couple of nice elbows there from Blue. Oh, beautiful elbow over the top. Evades. Great first Lefty. round. Great first round. I feel where the red corner had his most success was in uh, a, an extended flinch exchange. Yes, Let's see if he looks to to play the Corey Cowboy game. And it, it'd probably be a smart one. move. Had a round to get his feet under him now. A, a true clinch fighting style, you generally can expect sort of a, a late resurgence. Yeah. Uh, it's a style that builds over endurance the course game. of the fight. It's yeah. an endurance game, absolutely. Definitely more of a marathon than a sprint. Two fighters with long frames that use them in different ways. Uh, Daniel liking to play that outside game, fight long. Uh, ben looking to get that into that clinch and use his levers. Uh, two, two different ways to apply a long frame based on your demeanor. Then it generally comes down to your IQ level, yes. what game you're going to play. Round two. Both sides have access to a wealth of knowledge in the corner, so let's see. Nice crossing block for that kick. Ben looking to set that kick, sliding their hips back. Yeah, it looks like he's being Playing told to ropes. maybe back up a little bit, just rely on that right kick to stop Daniel from coming in. There's that kick. That yeah. right kick landed perfectly timed as the hands were being thrown by Daniel. And a great way to deal with a high volume boxing yes. offense, which was giving him trouble in round number one. Swinging the hook. Daniel just slides out of there, catches the kick and throws the cross to the body. Nice block. Very nice defense there. Swing and a miss. Kick across the back on the counter, and they are in the clinch once again. Come on, work, work, work. Turned to press Daniel into the ropes. That's Ben. Ben, is, ben seems to be a lot stronger there. Daniel, I would have to say, just all oh, beautiful cross blocking counter body kick. Stunning left kick there. Excellent use of long range fighting and looks for a cheeky high kick. I like that placement of the head in the clinch for Ben. Yeah, it's a safety position, yeah. smothering him, getting the, getting the weight up high over the body of Daniel so he falls back over the ropes. But Daniel doing a really nice job too is as soon as that space opens, sliding the elbow in. Nice left knee off the rope. And a different uh, a different look here from Daniel, playing off the ropes a little bit more of a counter knee game. Pressing straight knee. And back to the boxing. I actually saw him in orthodox there for a second. Yeah. Very versatile. Swing back and reply. Counter. Good. Rip to the body and a deep to, to shut down the counter. Just glancing low kick fires for the body and cross block counter back. Just a bit of a low blow there. Travis says get over it. <laughs> Going back with the body again and a nice upward elbow on a forward pressing fighter. And looks like he's back to where he wants to be. Come on, come on, come on, work! Nice. Attempts the block, but then finds space for the elbow, does Daniel. Relax, step back, thank you. Trev with his very much, uh, how would you put it? How would, how, how would you describe Trev as a ref? He's very vocal. Very vocal. Set, sets the tone. Authoritative almost. For sure. He's making it clear that he's controlling where the, where the fighters are. And he makes an atmosphere out of it. He, he does. creates an atmosphere. It, it can be understated how much a quality referee factors into a very interesting 100%. fight. Uh, of course, Elias Delops is one of the very best in the world at it as well. We're lucky enough to have him here in Australia. Here's some of these kick battles from round number two. Daniel knows how to control this fight at outside range so nicely. Blocks well. Very educated shot selection on counters. You can see right there, uh, Ben was looking to pick up the block, so Daniel fired that high up over the glove. Uh, once done. there, saw that Ben was kind of turning and fired a kick across the back, which is which is quite a big score. Yes, it is. Yeah, very very dominant. Shows shows that you're using your brain the whole time. Okay. 
wonderful technical fight here. And would you believe these guys have had three fights between them? It's crazy. It's crazy. Absolutely amazing. And testament to great work we've done at both gyms. Been really impressed with uh, Corey the Cowboys. Young, stable. A very young gym. For sure. Three. His transition from fighter to trainer yeah. has been amazing. I was at Corey's retirement party. Here in this venue. Ah, yes, yes. Daniel quite imposing centering there, using his frame well, just... Very versatile, can go front and front forwards and backwards, on the front foot, on the back foot. Big rear elbow there. Swing and a miss, though. I'm a big fan of that, that disruptive entry, just lifting under both legs there. Yes, for sure. Great way to pressure forward, not let your opponent kind of settle. Keep, keep, keep again. Kick for kick, and that one comes up over the glove and, and possibly rattles Benefit. Yeah, straight back up for another one as well, for the right hook. Big body rip there. Right leg up nice and high as well. What I'm really enjoying watching from all the newer professionals we've seen tonight is the way their comfort level increases over the course of the match. Yes. It's a, really a cool experience. Yeah. You're actually watching them rack up experience live. Yeah. Watching them grow. A little bit more of that boxing. Starting to fire that teeth out a lot. Nicely put. Which is a great weapon in opposite stance bouts too, because it's such a close to your opponent. Kick for kick there, right on top of us in commentary position here. Beautiful, do you hear? Nice leg block there in the, in the clinch. Ben burying that head again, but struggling to get in position to throw big damaging knees. You can also see he's getting Daniel's shoulders behind his hips, yeah. so he's laying back on the ropes. But uh, Dan Daniel is doing a really good job of nullifying the clinch offense. He is, yeah. Great lean back there from uh, from Ben. Daniel does a really good job of stealing scores by, yes, he does. by yeah. kicking, kicking and, and sometimes punching on the bit very into these exchanges. It's having, it's having that um, big kick across the back. Very rare thing known as IQ. Yes. Enough of that. <laughs> yeah, it may have been a personal kick. But in saying that, it's, very, it's a very rare thing in Muay Thai to have high IQ. Like, With one fight? fight. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fight IQ anyway. Like, you know, you could be super intelligent in real life, but Beautiful. can change when you get in there. Daniel locking things down well, just getting that inside. Like, oh, and a nice driving straight. There go one for one of those. Daniel trying to finish strong. Beautiful tape to finish. Awesome performance. Super impressed. Really, really impressed. I'm just impressed with Victorian scene in general. Amazing. And Victoria, and you can see that with the way that they are investing in talent, give it a couple of years, it's going to be very difficult for some of the other states to beat the upcoming Victoria. Totally agree. <laughs> I'm a big fan of what's going on in my home state of New South Wales too, so like to think we're staying not too far behind, but very impressed with Victoria. And Yes, ladies and gentlemen, after three fantastic rounds of fighting, we have judges' decision, unanimous decision, in the blue corner, Daniel Matthews! Awesome performance.